Welcome to iLecture Online. Another very interesting aspect of being on Mercury is looking at the Sun and then realizing how large the Sun, how big the Sun will appear to us from being so close to the Sun. And of course it depends a lot upon where in the orbit you happen to be. If you had aphelion farther away then the Sun will not quite look as big but at perihelion the Sun will look enormous in the sky. So let's compare that what it would like, what it would be like compared to what it is from the Earth. At the Earth we're at a distance of almost 150 million kilometers from the Sun. The diameter of the Sun will be twice the radius, it will be about 1.4 million kilometers. So to find the angular size of the Sun, and that's how we measure just about everything in astronomy, it's the angular size, how big it appears from our vantage point, we take the inverse tangent of the ratio of the diameter of the Sun divided by the distance to the Sun, we take the inverse tangent of that, and we end up with a, a little bit over a half degree. So the disk of the Sun appears to us to have the size, the angular size, of something slightly greater than a half a degree. But what would it be like if we're on Mercury and we're looking at the Sun when we are at aphelion, the farthest point in the elliptical orbit uh, of Mercury, the farthest point from the Sun? Again, we take the inverse tangent, but now we'll be at a position of about 70 million kilometers, which is less than half the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And therefore, the disk of the Sun will appear a little bit greater than twice the size as it appears from the Earth. And then if we happen to be at perihelion, the closest position to the Sun in the orbit around Mercury, then we take the inverse tangent of the diameter of the Sun, which is still 1.4 million kilometers, divided by the distance now, which is only 46 million kilometers, which is less than one-third the distance between the Earth and the Sun. And now, of course, the disk of the Sun will appear more than three times as large in diameter. So when we take a look over here, this is how big the Sun will look like as seen from the Earth, and this is what the Sun will look like from Mercury when Mercury is at perihelion. An enormous sized Sun there. Notice how much closer the Sun will appear, how much bigger it will appear, and no wonder it's so hot there at noon, 800 degrees Fahrenheit, because of the enormous amount of heat we receive from that large object in the sky. That would be quite something to see. Bring your sunglasses, because it will be quite bright when you're up there. And that's what the Sun looks like as seen from Mercury.